Okay. I have talked about shucking drives a lot. Okay. In fact, if you follow me on Twitter, I'll like post random sales, usually from like Newegg, Amazon, or Best Buy, when you can get something like a 10 terabyte hard drive for $160. That's that's a pretty good deal, especially when 10 terabyte OEM red drives run like 260 to $300 normally. And if you watch some of my previous videos, you've probably noticed that I sometimes I skip due process, as it were. When I throw these into my server, I don't do any kind of a pre-clear. I primarily run Unraid on my server that uses these drives as efficiently as possible, but there really is a safety measure that you're supposed to take before you go slapping these shucked hard drives into your server. And in today's really quick video, let's talk about a very, very easy way to check these drives before you even take them out of the casing. Well, this ad makes just about as much sense as browsing the internet without NordVPN. With tons of servers, fast speeds, and with my link in the description, a huge discount, it's a little illogical to not run NordVPN. If you don't believe me, check it out for yourself. They're so confident you'll like it that you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Make sure to click my NordVPN link in the description down below to get your discount today. What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. This is a Western Digital 10 terabyte hard drive. Now this actually comes in a USB enclosure. It's called the Easy Store. Uh, they also call them the Elements Drive. I mean, you guys are all familiar with these drives. I say that because I've talked about them a lot. Primarily because they're cheap and I have yet to convince Western Digital to sponsor this channel by giving me hard drives. So I have to go out and buy them as cheap as possible because I am Jason and I'm a terabyte-aholic. So, yeah. Now today I'm actually showcasing four different hard drives that I'm going to be testing all at the same time, mind you. Hopefully it doesn't run into any issues doing that, but I'm gonna be showcasing running four of these all at the same time, but I already have one of them hooked up. So really I'm only gonna show you three right here, but this will give you a primary example. I bought two of these from Best Buy and then I bought two of them from Amazon. 10 terabytes, they're white label red drives. I've never shucked any of these, whether it's Elements or it's the Easy Stores, I've never shucked any of them and found anything other than a white labeled red drive. A white labeled red drive is all the specs of a red drive, but they're just white labeled. Now the key difference between that and an OEM drive is that with an OEM drive, you get three years worth of warranty. With the white label red drives, you only get two years worth of a warranty. And in the US, if you take them out of the case due to the whole right to repair thing, you don't lose your warranty. You just submit the uh, serial number on the hard drive, you send it to them, and then they replace the drive itself. For the most part here in US, unless you actually damage the drive by modifying it, you're still covered under warranty for two years. But other than that, on the exterior, these things look almost exactly the same. They have the same power supply, they hook up same thing with USB 3.0. I mean, pretty much everything about them is the same, but my theory that I have as far as why they are different is that the ones you can get from Best Buy are called the Easy Store, and the ones you can get from online from something like Newegg or Amazon are called Elements. And the reason why they do that is because at Best Buy, they do price matching. So if they were to sell, let's say, easy stores in the actual Best Buy brick and mortar store for something like $250 or whatever their price is with it not being on sale, and then something online like Newegg or Amazon offered the exact same hard drive with external enclosure with the same name at a discounted price at $160 and Best Buy didn't want to sell it for that, Best Buy actually allows you to price match everything in stores long as you can bring up a legit website and show them right there in the store, they will price match it for you. They do this because they want to stay competitive. They don't want to lose business to online customer sales. So that's just a normal thing they do. But if they name everything the same, there's usually a sale going on like a few times a month. So they would always basically have these on sale just because everyone ha wants to have them on sale. So my theory is they rename them, that way they don't have to do the price matching, that way they can have the sell when they want to, for whatever reason they do it like that. But enough about that, let's talk about safe practices when you're shucking drives. And that is 
you got to check these drives. If you're running Unraid, Unraid has a built-in pre-clear tool that allows you to check these drives by writing zeros to it to make sure that every sector is good, every part of the hard drive is good, and it won't fail when you start to use it. This is a great feature. Pre-clear is definitely something that you should use to check a hard drive because even though I've never had a Western Digital fail on me before I put anything in or even after I put anything in, there is always a chance. Something could happen. Nobody is perfect, including Western Digital. So running pre-clear on Unraid. A lot of people might have this misconception that you actually have to take the hard drive out of the case, put it into your server, connect it via SATA cable, etc. But the truth of the matter is, is that with Unraid, you can technically run these drives via the USB cable that comes with it, which means if you want to run pre-clear on this and you have available USB ports on your server, then that's all you need. You plug it in and you run a pre-clear. Now, of course, there is a small catch here. In order to make things as easy as possible, you're probably gonna need a few things. You don't need these things. You can still run pre-clear via the command line, but that's not nearly as easy as it is to use the pre-clear plugin that you can install from community applications. So jumping into your Unraid server, you're going to wanna look up how to install something called community applications. Community applications is a necessity for every Unraid server. That's my belief, because with the community Community applications, it gives you a new tab called apps. And from this app screens, you can search all kinds of different plugins, dockers, etc., and you can install them directly from this screen, which means no command lines, no looking up repositories, anything like that. All you have to do is install the community apps one time and you have access to everything available to Unraid, or at least almost everything available to Unraid. So once you get community applications installed, you go up to your tabs, you click on apps, and from the app screen in the search bar at the top, just type in pre, P-R-E. It should automatically start showing you search results for pre-clear. Once you click on pre-clear, click on install and you are good to go. But if you want to take this another step and you want to make it just a little bit easier, but not too much easier, I would also probably recommend installing something called unassigned devices. Now, yes, you can go into your tools and you can go to pre-clear. You can see the drives from this list and you can start your pre-clear without any additional plugins needed. But if you want to see your drives listed on your main drive screen underneath the rest of your array, that way you can easily see the drives that are not being used by your array underneath everything else and start the pre-clear from the same screen, installing unassigned devices allows you to do this. So if you go to the community apps application, you, you search for unassigned or just UNA, it should automatically start giving you the search results needed. Install this application and then go directly to your main screen with all of your hard drives and your array. If you scroll down to the bottom, you should see the unused unassigned hard drives. And from here, all you're gonna do is plug in your brand new Western Digital Elements or Easy Store drive into an unused USB port. You're gonna give your server a little bit of time to pick up the new drive, and then you're gonna refresh the screen just in case it doesn't show up. As you can see here, I already have one external hard drive running. It's still in the USB case. It's been running overnight, but it's already running, and the Unraid server does not pick up the new USB drives yet. As soon as I give it a little bit of time, I hit the refresh, and boom. All of the USB drives now show up. And right here next to the hard drives themselves, you can see a little hard drive with like a broom on it. This is the pre-clear icon that you can click to start the pre-clear on your drives. Now I should take a moment and say that a lot of people, and something that I used to do a lot, but I got way too impatient for it, a lot of people say you should do a, do a pre-clear at least two to three times on a hard drive. The only problem with that is, you know, these things are 10 terabyte hard drives, which means that they're gonna take about 24 hours per run to do a pre-clear. So, you know, if you got three days to burn and you don't need your drives right away, then I would probably recommend running it three times. Personally for me, I'm gonna go ahead and choose to run it two times. That's more than one, less than three, and it's kind of a nice little sweet spot for me. And considering that in previous videos, I kind of YOLO this and just, you know, hope that it doesn't fail on me when I put it into the array, which hasn't backfired on me yet, I think two times is way better than zero times. So once you select the pre-clear icon, it's gonna pop up a few options for you. You're gonna select how many times you want to pre-clear it. Make sure you're not skipping reads or skipping writes or anything like that. You can even set it up to notify you in the browser when it's done. And then at the bottom, you're just going to click start. 
and it will pop up a window, a status window that's gonna show you what the status is of the pre-clear. You can close this window if you want to. You do not have to keep it open. And that, my fellow terabyte addicts, is all you need to check these without physically taking the drive out, putting it into your server, or potentially giving yourself any kind of warranty or return issues that you might get at the store if this turns out to be DOA. I mean, you know, if I like, stab this thing and then I try to take it into Best Buy and they pull it out and they're like, what in the world did you do? They're probably gonna give me a hard time. Yes, I could still send it off to Western Digital, but I would much rather walk into Best Buy and like say, hey, this is broke, give me another one, than have to deal with sending it over to Western Digital. Well guys, that's it for today's short video. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post them down in the comments below. Of course, this video is only covering Unraid and pre-clearing via USB, but if you're running other operating systems, there are still other options available to you. I'm not listing them in this video, but if you're running something like Windows, you could still check the hard drives to make sure they're not going to fail on you. Although, Pre-clear is, is a pretty thorough test. I mean, it writes data to the entire drive over and over again. So if the drive is gonna fail at any point, pre-clear is probably going to find it. So of course, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have yourself a great day.